Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is narrator Ravi Gupta. Today I am going to tell you about boiler water level alarms and trip. In today's topic, we will see first what, on which principle the boiler water level alarm work. After that, through this diagram, I will explain how these trips, such as high high level trip, high level alarm switch, low water level alarm switch, and low low water level trip is activated. So let's begin the video. Please remain tuned till last, you will learn a lot. Before beginning the video, I want to tell you that I have made a video regarding remote water level indicator. If you want to know about that, please click on the i button and I will also keep the link in description. You can watch from there also. So let's begin the video of the boiler water level alarm. So as you know that electric boiler water level alarm work on the principle of magnet. So what do you mean a principle of magnet? A very simple thing of a magnet is that unlike pole such as north and south pole attract each other and same pole such as north north or south south repel each other. On this principle the boiler water level alarm and trips work. So let's see the working. An external float chamber with a balanced connection to stream drum is mounted in a way of a drum water level. A float within the chamber then relate to this water level and move an attached magnet up and down in response to any change of water level within stream drum. So what do I mean by that? As you can see, this is a float chamber. Okay, This is a float chamber on which a float is mounted and on a lower end of a float, a magnet is attached. Okay, this floor chamber replicate the water level which is been maintained inside a steam drum. As you can see here, the connection is from steam space and from the water space. So, the water level indicator means strip alarm switch is connected to the steam drum and the whole thing is replicated inside this float chamber. So what is happening whenever the boiler level water level fall or increase at that time this float will move up and down depending upon the scenario. As it move up and down the magnet will also move up and down. Okay. Now let's see what I have written here. Four switches are placed at various water level to indicate different scenario within the steam drum. When the floor chamber attached magnet come in contact, it completes the circuit and perform the action attached within the circuit energization. So what is happening? As you can see, the float is connected to a magnet and when the magnet move up and down depending upon the water level, this magnet come in contact with the circuit. Basically, a certain point this circuit will come in contact with this magnet and as the magnet will come in this position, it will complete a circuit which will initiate the action and perform alarm or trip depending upon the level. So what is happening when the switch is coming here or here, it is completing its own whole circuit diagram and it is performing its own action. So now let's see the whole thing how it works. So what is happening? As, you, as I have told you, suppose the water level inside the boiler is decreasing. Okay. So when it will decrease, the float will move down. As the float will move down, the magnet will also move down. As the magnet will move down, it will come here. Suppose when it come here, it will complete the alarm circuit of the low level alarm through micro switch. Through this micro switch, the whole circuit is completed when this magnet come at this point indicating low water level inside the boiler. Now one, when it will come, when the water level inside the boiler is falling, this float chamber will move down. As it moves down and come here, through this, it will connect it to an alarm switch which will indicate alarm low water level alarm has activated now if this low water level alarm is left unattended so what will happen the float will move further down as it will move further down this magnet from this position 
will move to this position when it will move to this position it will activate low low level trip switch so now this time it is activating a trip switch so what will happen through this magnetic micro switch the whole circuit will completed and it will be connected through a trip circuit of a fuel oil line so basically what is happening when the water level has formed beyond a certain limit and when the low water level trip is activated it is connected to the fuel oil supply line valve which will initiate and cut off the fuel supply by activating the fuel shut off valve so this fuel shut off valve is activated by a solenoid which is getting energized by the alarm by the trip circuit providing the necessary electric connection so let's see what i have written here when the floating chamber moved down due to the low water level in the steam drum it will touch low water level alarm circuit and it will initiate the alarm okay but if the thing left unattended and water is still decreases in that case another circuit will come into action and low low water level alarm with trip of the fuel shut off valve is activated okay the low low water level alarm is connected with the fuel shut off valve which will be energized to close the fuel oil supply when the water level decreases so as you all know if the water level decreases and if the fuel supply is on it means that steaming process is on which will cause the burning of the tubes and damage to the boiler to prevent the damage to the boiler when the water level inside the boiler fall beyond a certain limit trip switch is activated okay the same thing happen when we are moving up means when the water level inside the boiler is increasing the float will move up as it will move up suppose it has come to this point means water level has increased to a certain level so it will give a high level alarm switch will be activated through this macro switch when this magnet has come in this point of contact what will happen through a micro switch the alarm circuit will be activated indicating high water level alarm now if the thing is again left unattended and the water level continue to rise the float will move further up as the float will move further up what will happen ultimately the high high level trip switch will be activated as the high high level trip switch will be activated it will be connected through macro switch to again to fuel oil shut off valve which will cut off the fuel oil supply line now this time why the fuel oil supply line is been cut off because if the water has increased beyond a certain limit and still we are steaming up the boiler it may causes over pressurizing of the boiler or you can say bulging of the boiler okay now let's see what i have written here when the floating chamber move up due to the high water level in the steam drum it will touch the high water level circuit and will initiate the alarm but if the thing left unattended and water is still increases in that case another circuit will come into action and high high water level with trip of fuel shut off is activated and feed water is closed so now one thing you need to care take care apart from fuel shut off in high high water level trip feed pump is tripped or feed pump supply valve is tripped means the water supplying to the steam drum is also been cut off along with the fuel in high high water level alarm fuel shut off and the feed system both are cut off to prevent over pressurizing and bulging of the boiler and in low water level low low water level trip only fuel oil shut off is activated now the second question come to our mind is that okay why this alarm why this trip need to be activated that i have told you how the low water level trip is coming means why it is coming it may happen as we know the boiler water level is need to be maintained around 80 to 90 degrees celsius sometime due to priming or sometime to the gas formation or sometime fracture in the line low water level alarm can come and for that reason we need to take necessary action okay now 
I am telling you that when this magnet is moving in this position or this position or this or this position, this macro switch is completing the alarm circuit. The second question come to mind, how this macro switch is completing the alarm circuit? So for that, we need to know how this micro switch works. So this macro switch is called read switches. Okay. So basically what happened, these are the read switches which are made up of nickel iron alloy which has been inserted inside a vacuum chamber and is inerted okay and when it come across a magnet it perform an action so what happened when it is magnet is not present around them the switch will be in open position means now if the magnet in this position the circuit will be in open position no alarm will be there but if this magnet come to this position or this position what will happen this will happen when the magnet is coming to this position it is closing the circuit means the in, inside the read switch is behaving as if a magnet of different pole means north south pole and attracting each other and therefore closing the circuit and this closure of circuit is initiating the action which is attached to it okay so when this read switch is coming in contact with this magnet it is getting close and the circuit is getting completed so i hope now you understand how this macro switch or read switch work but sometime what happened due to the bad weather due to the bad weather inside the boiler water may this float may move suddenly up or down because of bad weather so in that case alarm may get come alarm may come so for that reason a time delay is provided which will be initiated let's see what i have written here a time delay circuit is provided for high and low water level alarm initiation because in some time alarm may get activated frequently due to bad weather condition outside causing the fluctuation in the water level so sometime what happened, the water level may get fluctuated because of a bad weather condition. So for that reason, a delay circuit is provided, which is not shown here. A delay circuit is provided, attached with the alarm circuit, which will initiate the alarm when after a delay. Means normally a delay is of 10 to 15 seconds or 5 to 15 seconds you can say a delay is provided, which will see if the water level high or low is persisting for that amount of time it means really the water level inside the steam drum is not proper in that case it will raise the alarm if the alarm is going off within that period of time it will not initiate the alarm so for that reason the delay switch is provided so i hope in this video you have learned how the boiler water level alarm and trip switch work if you have learned something so then please hit the like button and please share please share with your friend is a request to all of my viewers please share with your friend because marine engineering hub aim is to bring all our marine personnel to this platform so that we can learn and grow together image case goes to gh fanagan have a good day friend